Hey guys, and uh, it's Flight Sim today here. I just want to say thank you for watching this video. Uh, the content you're about to watch was taken originally uh, from airline to sim who are no longer um, training. You cannot even get this program anymore. Um, it's gone. Originally, £40, and um, it was only in depth and a really good resource for the A320, which is still relevant today if you're using the Phoenix uh, program. Originally hosted by Ben, and they had a guy called James who was a real airline A320 pilot. Um, I will be taking the 27 episodes where possible, slipping them up into much smaller chunks, making it easier for you to digest. And maybe you don't want to learn one thing, but learn another. So if that's your thing, please do subscribe so that you can keep up to date with all the new videos that will be coming out over the coming weeks related to this. All right, now famous side stick in uh, oh, yeah. in front of you here. Now, obviously, this is going to look quite familiar, but the from what you were telling me, you're only actually seeing a very small part of the side stick yeah, here, right? The side stick itself is enormous. This box that the side stick sits on top of, it's almost that size of this. Okay, unit so here. so this so this whole thing that we can see that goes all the way down, yeah. that's kind of the size of it. That yeah, pretty much yeah. And what does it have like rods? Does it look a bit like like Terminator's arm inside? I it can does. imagine it. It rocks. has, and what's quite cool in the real one when you when you hold it all the way back and then you let go, it sort of slowly returns to the center because it has these dampening rods, and then it returns at a different rate from the if you use it for left and right rather than up and down, and it's got lots of little sensors in it. It's a really really complicated piece of equipment. And I imagine incredibly expensive. I can't even begin to imagine how okay. much they cost. I mean, how different does it feel? to the, the kind of bog standard joysticks that most of us are using in the sim. Yeah, it's it's quite different in terms of weighting and the sort of like how it feels. You push it and it has a bit of response to it and it's all this sort of stuff. Yeah, so it's quite significantly different really. And it you know, you, you can really, when you hold one for the first time, I've known a few simmers who've flown 320 full motion simulators and stuff and they've gone, oh, it's it's amazing. You know, it's yeah, really so quite good. different. Yeah. Than, but the, the thing that's very, I think, Amaz it was amazing about the FS Labs is I feel if you attached one of those side sticks to it and flew it, it would be almost like the real thing. Almost like almost the real thing. Almost really close. You know? Yeah. yeah. Um, but the actual stick itself is is actually quite simple, isn't it? There's yeah. not a lot. There's not really a lot to it. No, there's a lot less than a normal sort like of flight, joystick, like flight stick. Like the flight sim joystick, these buttons and stuff. We only have two buttons on the yeah, real one, right? It's it's pretty straightforward, really. Yeah. yeah. So what does a red one do? So the red one is called the Instinctive Autopilot Push Button Disconnect. It's a fairly long name for basically just something that disconnects the autopilot. So you so. press it, and it just uh, turns the autopilot off. Yeah. You don't have to click it twice or anything like that, like well, a Boeing. When you disconnect it, you'll get the noise, and you press it again to cancel the noise. So basically, ah, you normally okay. double press it. Right, OK. Yeah. And as we're going to discover later on, uh, the autopilot disc, there are a few sounds associated with the Airbus. Mm, yeah. The the cavalry charge, yep. which is the autopilot disconnect sound, and then there's the famous Airbus triple click, but we're going to... We'll come back to that. We're going to get yeah, back to that yeah, in a bit. Yeah. And then looking down a little bit, this uh, looks a little bit like something you might find in a... In a, in a in a lady's handbag, maybe on holiday. I don't know, but um, a bit big. Really. Uh, yeah, maybe. Well, <laughs> speak for yourself. Um, but I. What does what does this little uh, thing do at the back here? Uh, that's the push to talk switch. Right. So, okay. what the active frequency that you're talking on, you'll pull it, and it will just transmit your voice down that frequency. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that's basically just the equivalent of the little RTT button on exactly. the dash eight or the. And they have another one of those because there's two ways to transmit, but this is one of the ways to do 